I'm Ariel, curated expert, and I've helped over hundreds of people find the perfect gear for them. And today I got to ride the Ride Psycho Candy in a 142. Just so you all know, we are not sponsored by any brands and all of these reviews are completely unbiased. I was super stoked to get on this board. This board used to mainly only be ridden by women, but they actually added more sizes, smaller and larger, to accommodate all types of riders, and they added it to their unisex line. So what was really cool for me is that I got to ride this board alongside one of my male riders who would have never been on a board like this. But the fact that we kind of got to be stoked on a board that did come from a women's original board and now was made unisex is just something awesome in this industry. For me, my overall impression of this board was that I could absolutely add it to my quiver. It was aggressive enough for me. It charged through the chunder, the bumps. It held up in all of that technical terrain. I was able to go edge to edge super quick. It's got a rocker profile, but it holds an edge, which is kind of crazy. You can go fast. You can go through any terrain you want and really dominate the hill. But still, because of that rocker profile, it's gonna be really easy to maneuver and it's gonna be extra nice in the powder. I wasn't able to ride this board in the freshest of snow, but given its rocker profile and its little bit of spoon-shaped nose, it's definitely gonna float, it's gonna be easy, you're not gonna sink whatsoever, and it is going to give you a really, really fun ride. This board would not be a board that I would take into the park. I actually kind of felt like it lacked a little bit in the pop. Could be because of the profile, could be because of me, but compared to other boards, it didn't have the most pop and I definitely had to put a little bit of effort into it to get it up off the ground. That being said, with my presses and my spins and my butters, it was really nice and it really did do what I wanted to do, but it's also a stiffer board. So the control in it, I think the stiffness mixed with that rocker profile actually gave me that control when I was in my carves, when I was on that steeper terrain. I never felt any chatter, I never felt any instability, which usually with a more rocker profile I do, uh, but I was very, very, very stoked to get on this board, stoked to ride it the entire time, and really just excited that, like I said, I can ride this board right next to my male homie and have a blast. This board should not be ridden by a beginner, and I would even argue that a low intermediate may not really enjoy this board. There is definitely a stiffness to this board that you need to know what you're doing on a board to really, really enjoy this. You need to be a little bit more of an aggressive rider or just like a stiffer board to enjoy the Psycho Candy. That being said, this board would be perfect for my lady shredders, my smaller male shredders, or my larger male shredders because there's all those added sizes now who really do love to take on the whole mountain but maybe don't need to spend much time in the park and would rather be out, you know, in the trees, in the bumps, finding some fresh stuff and really just charging hard. Definitely getting some speed. This board can definitely get up to speed. There's not much it can't do except get really, 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 really high board switch, you can definitely do some spins and be confident landing. But the tail is definitely a lot shorter than the nose, so it's not the most stable of landings. I definitely, com when comparing this to some other boards that are similar, I definitely like the other boards a little bit better because the, the tail was a little bit longer. But yes, the tail is short. Yes, you can still ride switch but just know, be aware that you're gonna have to be ready to, to catch yourself if, if you don't feel that stable. There it is. This board is a volume shifted board, so it is recommended that you ride this board anywhere from four to seven centimeters shorter. If you want help finding your next board, click the link in the description and I'll help you find your next setup.